Sidrock the Dane, A Circle of Keridwen Saga Story Written by Octavia Randolph Narrated by Nano Nagel To know the man, look to the boy. To know the boy, look to the father. Preface Sidrock the Dane was fated to become one of the greatest jarls in Angleland. This is his story. He was a son of Denmark, in the ninth century the most powerful of the Nordic lands. Its kings were the mightiest, and its young men thirstiest for adventure. All the Norse were an active folk. The sphere to the east wandered deep into the heartlands of the Slavs. The men of Norway struck west to air and beyond. Yet the men of Denmark had the boldest plans. The great island of Angleland lay across the North Sea to the west, with rich yet disordered kingdoms ready to plunder. From the middle of the ninth century it was the favoured target of the Danes. Sidrock was one such adventurer. Not all struck out for riches with spear and sword. Twenty years earlier, on a farm on the large Danish peninsula of Jutland, lived a young man named Harald. Chapter the First Jorild, Denmark The year 847 Harald had been gone nearly a year when he returned to the farm he owned with his mother. He walked a day overland, from the great trading post of Haitabu, where the merchant Nor dropped him and its cargo. His clothes were those he had left in, a brown dyed tunic of mixed linen and wool, which reached his hips, over dark woolen leggings loose enough for working ease. Thin straps of leather lent protection while hiking, wrapping his lower legs to the knees. His brown boots were low and of cowhide, almost entirely worn. The mantle on his back was a length of hemmed and heavy blue wool held by a bronze pin. He had no cap. His route on foot took him across the narrowest part of the vast Jutland peninsula. At first he walked directly along the Danewerk, the earthen and timber wall that shut out the Frankish Saxons on the other side. From there he headed north, up the coast. After another two-day walk, he turned his back on the sea and the barrier islands blocking the way to open water. The fishing was ever good in their shoals. Before his father's death, the old man had taken their small boat once a week up the narrow river on which the farm lay, returning at dusk, with a wet basketful of shimmering haddock or herring. Now Harald traced that path, walking on the grassy... Sample complete. Ready to continue?